Welcome to another edition of Bailey's Figure Reviews. Today we review SH Figure Arts Super Mario and accessories pack A and B that comes with them. But first we'll look at the packages before we crack these babies open. Okay. Sorry about that. Lost my balance here for a minute. So let's take a look and see at the Super Mario. Okay, on the side there is a package of, no, I'm sorry, not a package, a picture of Super Mario jumping out of the um, green sewer hole. Pipe, sewer pipe, I mean. There's, I believe that's a Wamba, a turtle shell, and Super Mario. And he comes with a gold coin, a edible mushroom, and a golden... Uh, mystery box. Side there shows him holding a turtle shell, two gold coins, and a turtle and couple bricks. I actually like what they uh, did here with the brick accessories in this one. Has actually pictures of it going all the way down there. So that's pretty cool. And on the back there, it's a bunch of Japanese stuff. Pictures of Mario. SH Figure Arts Mario in action and a bunch of Japanese. So yeah, about it for and on the side here. Ooh, looks like Mario uh, ran out of lives here as he's laying on the ground. Wamba on there, a couple gold coins flying all over the place, mystery box, turtle shell. And of course on the top there. There's some of those gold mystery box, brick walls, golden coins, and a mushroom on the bottom there. It's a choke. A lot of uh, warning hazards and Japanese. And that's about it for Mario. Okay, this is the accessory package. I believe this is number. This is. Oh, there we are. Okay, so this is SH Figure Arts. Yeah, this is accessory pack A. Okay, sorry about that. I just finally uh, was able to read this lower bottom here. I didn't wasn't able to do that in the unboxing video. So Super Mario, SH Figure Arts, lots of Japanese, then an A. Anyways, this is the accessory pack A. Awesome packaging on this one too. There's a mushroom. The wamba from there is down there. A uh, couple gold coins. Turtle. Like the design they did it. And they even used uh, actual photos of the figures in action. Which I actually like. Instead of having it draw it on there. Actually shows how awesome the figurines are. Better than some artists work. Don't get me wrong, I, I do like some artwork, but I actually like seeing the figures in action. And there's some awesome design on here too. Lots of gold coins, wamba, brick wall, golden box, and <laughs> there's more design. I actually like that one where uh, Mario's sitting on there waving. That's, a, that's a really hilarious. He's sitting on a gold box waving. And again, some more Mario in action. Again, there's uh, Mario waving to you on his, while sitting on the golden box. All the accessories that come there. Him having a face off of one of those Wombas. And there we go. Ooh, Mario better watch out. He's about to hit into that Wamba here. But he's about to get lots of gold coins. Okay, and that's it for that one. Okay, this is accessory pack B. Yeah, I know a lot of packages for, for just one awesome ass figure. Anyways. And if you're ordering from Big Bad Toy Store or from anywhere else, or comic book shops, you don't have to buy all three packages. If you just want Mario... They all most likely have a single carded Mario. You don't have to buy all three packages. You don't have to buy both accessories pack. 
But, you know what? After seeing the reviews, I actually decided to buy all th all three because there's a huge, awesome, fun factor to these. <clears throat> so if you just want Mario, you can just go to a comic book shop, you can order him along. You don't have to buy the two accessories back. But if you want to have fun with this figuring, like all you big adults usually want to do. <laughs> just kidding. But anyways, if you're an animator, or you just like the fun factor to this, there's two accessories pack. But if you're just one serious mock collector or some serious collector, there's a... Mario does come by himself. Anyways... Or with that out of the way, oh, there's cuck on here. I don't know what the heck's that right there, but I, I guess the camera's not even picking that up. Okay. Okay then. Anyways, let's go through uh, the package detail here. Some more of the action figures in action, actually, like uh, how these wombos are walking out of the tubes and popping their heads out. It's really hilarious. There's again some more Wamba action, and there's Mario popping his head out. So yeah, more of this design with the action figures in action. Oh, here we go. That this is awesome. Wombas came in, just came out of the pipe there, and there's a huge face-off between him and Mario. That's pretty sweet. And. <laughs> There we go. That's how you look. <laughs> and there he is about to drop kick the Wamba. That's pretty cool. Him carrying the turtle Oh yeah, there's a turtle shell in there. I didn't notice that. So yeah, this is pretty cool of uh, accessories. Shows some action picks. And then a... What's included in this pack. So of course there's some more display stands for the gold coin. And maybe that thing. Anyways, there's also alternate hands for Mario. So, this is another good reason if you want alternate hands for Mario. Accessory pack B. So, yeah. With that being said, let's uh, crack all these open and give them their proper review. My goodness, this is going to be a long, long... My gosh, long review, folks. Okay, and we are back with everything out of its package. It looks, it is pretty awesome. But let's, but let's go through all the accessories pack and the accessories before we even go to this guy and these guys. So let's just move these uh, little figurines around. Okay, first up, I believe this came with accessory pack. B. This is accessory pack B's instructions. So if you're going to order to get the accessories pack, uh, the only way you can probably go is by reading. Not not really reading unless you know Japanese, but just follow what the pictures say, pretty much. This is of course came with A. The other the other one came with B. Shows you how to work the display stand and everything. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So yeah. Okay, without with those out of the way, let's uh take a look at these gold coins. You have a choice of the these little uh, long stands, long clear white stands, or smaller stands that uh look like that. So I'll give you an example of what they look like when on bo boxes. Okay, that's what the first one looks like. That's the lower stand. And the higher stand for the coins looks like that. Okay. Anyways, with that being shown, take one of these off the stand here and I'll show you this. So it, they pl pretty much plug it in the bottom there, and th these are nice and shiny. 
they actually are really gold and shiny. It actually help if I turned on the light, huh? Am I right, guys? So yeah, gold and shiny. Gold and shiny figure. Coin. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay. Also, comes with these cool extra hands. Quickly uh, show you how these work. So you're pretty much going to plug in Plug in this. At least one of these. I think I might be plugging in the wrong one. Okay, I should have read those instructions. Nope, wait a minute. There we go. Plug in one of those. Second one. Somewhere in there. In there somewhere. Oh, there you go. I don't know how the hell it's to work. Okay, this dork here does not know how these are supposed to work. So I'm gonna... Okay, there's a little hole in there. Be. Sorry, ooh, that is stupid by my part. That was pretty damn stupid by my part. And I think I've been using the wrong kind of thing too. Don't you dare. Okay, I'm going to re-show you guys here, because I was showing you the wrong way. And I need that one that just flew down, down here, shit. Where the hell did he fly? Okay. Found it. Hands here. Get the other one there. Okay, so. Gotta be extra careful because these king things can actually break. Here. So, looks like he's kind of. Things actually stayed in. Anyways, kind of looks if you have them in a certain way. Kind of looks like he's holding it. I think I used the wrong stance. Either way, just got us lost a freaking other hand too. Mm. Either way, it looks like he's holding the. Either one will do. And it looks like he, he's doing the same action anyways. I think uh, these are supposed to make it actually look like he's holding it way better. I think it's way better. So. Okay, take those out. And if you want to swap hands. Pretty easy. No, and if you're worried about ball, ball points, there are none, so it's just a quick, see, there's no ball joint there, so you won't be messing around with it for hours on end. And, oh my gosh. And I can't even put in, okay, and 
Wow. Okay, I'm gonna take this off camera quickly. And hello. Yeah. Okay. If you have big hands like me, you gotta worry about the bolt joints in the elbows there. Anyways. So you swap it, and there's another swappable part here. So for those that are going to be displaying Mario with this flight stand, you take this little blue point off here, then you swap it out with this. And then he should uh, plug in just thickly right there. That's the swappable accessories that come with this figure. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll just leave that in there. I'm not going to fight it. Okay. Just put him back there. Stupid things. It's lying all over the place. Okay, next up. Next accessory is this awesome little mushroom. He eats to get bigger. This is pretty cool. Like, this is actually really accurate and detailed. Not a single thing wrong with them. So, so far, this is a SH Figure Arts Mario accessory pack. And the figure itself is pretty awesome. So, I'd pretty much say so far, it's a must buy for you. And of course, the thing we were just messing around with, the turtle shell, pretty awesome fit. accessory, and you know what, I think, oh, never mind, I was thinking about something, but I guess it's not, anyways, so it's pretty cool. Pretty cool little accessory you have for it. Now these little mystery boxes, nicely sculpted, nicely painted. Has question marks as yet for the top there, but I think that yeah they never never showed in the video game that there was anything on the top here. There's no uh, there was no point of having camera angles for the ground when you jumped up there. See, do do do. No point. Anyways. Then, let's see if we can grab one of these without breaking the stand. So yeah, and then nicely, uh, bit. the only thing I don't like about this is, they're not sculpted, but, you know, we don't really need it sculpted. It's nicely painted, though. And there's a little bit of yellow there, but the stand up there is just going to cover it, so you won't really care. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Little accessory. Next up is these green pipes. Sewer pipe. And the replacement one. So for example, if you want Mario to be poking his little head out from the sewer one, from one of these sewer pipes, you just swap them out and voila there he is popping his little head out so yeah that is pretty cool this feature and then next up is the Wamba figurines so they're pretty much the same pretty much the same. I like, I like the paint applications and the details put on these. Only problem I have is the articulation. They have none. I actually like, the, I actually like how they sculpt these eyebrows. Unibrows, pretty much. Instead of uh, just cheaply painting them, they actually sculpted them. 
That's pretty sweet. And they also sculpted the little teethy here. Yeah, that's pretty badass. These are pretty badass. To be honest, I don't know who wouldn't want those badass figurine, little figurines. Okay, and finally, the man of the review, the man of the hour, Mario. He has a pretty awesome head sculpt. And I like him pretty much. I actually like all the paint details, and they even sculpted the M in there instead of cheaply painting it. They even have the button sculpted. Even the little thing, the littlest of things, sculpted. It's just sweet. They even have those sculpted. Like they even have mustache sculpted. The teeth sculpted. And oh my goodness! And it looks like they even have the eyebrow sculpted. That that is just lots of. My goodness, that's just too much detail to handle for me. That was just lots of detail. Just for one little figurine. So yeah, these import figures are pretty awesome when it comes down to sculpt and paint applications. So yeah, it's a pretty awesome figure to have in your collection. So. Okay, so articulation should go like this. So his head is a... Uh, can go a little very limited. The uh, hair back there is uh, ha, screwing that up, so you can't do it. Actually, he has a, actually no, it's not the hair. His big fat chin is actually slowing it down, and not even really much of a pivot. His hand can go that far out. That's how. Then he has a ball pig elbow, ball joint elbow, so it could go all over the place if it wanted to. It has this little swivel, can bend a little bit, and there's only a swivel for that hands because there isn't. As you already you already know what it looks like under there. There's no so yeah, there's no bolt joint under there, and there's no hinge on the hand, and uh, his leg can go only can he can only kick that far out. Oh, wait a minute, I think he has a swivel on the upper thigh. He has a double jointed knee. He can bend that far. And then he's, he can go up and down, and he has a sweet ankle pivot. Ankle pivot. Anyways. Oops. Anyways, that's pretty much my review on SH Figure Arts Mario and Accessories Pack A and B. For future editions of Billy's Figure Review, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. See you then.